Today I want to start a new series of videos. Um, I want to start a series of videos um, about heroes. And I'm going to start one series that's about heroes in the ska scene. And I want to start another series that's heroes uh, that are authors. And so today is going to be the very first video. And today I'm going to start by talking about one of my greatest heroes in the ska scene. Um, I talked about him recently in a video, but now I'm going to probably gush a little bit more. I, I want to celebrate Mike Park. And what my hope is, is that this video would sort of be a catalyst for uh, an honor bomb uh, to drop on Mike Park. Like just every single person that loves Mike, if you would just flood social media with love for him and appreciation for all he's done for the scene. Um, I think that um, everybody deserves to feel honored at some point. And, um, and Mike has done a lot of things and deserves a lot of praise. So uh, let me start by saying that if you don't know who Mike Park is, Mike Park is, first of all, a phenomenal ska musician who started out with Skank and Pickle. Now I'm using, I've got some notes over here so I don't forget anything, but started out by playing with Skank and Pickle um, and had one, two, three, four, five releases uh, with Skank and Pickle, including a live album. Um, and uh, those were on, you know, most of those on Dill Records, the last one on Dr. Strange Records, the green album on Dr. Strange Records. Um, he also played with uh, the Bruce Lee Band, which the first album sort of overlaps, Skank and Pickle. Um, he played with the Chinkies, and he played with Ogikubo Station, and I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. And then he has some solo work. So there are a lot of Mike Park albums out there. In fact, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23 albums. And that's just stuff that like he's featured on. It's his bands or his solo work. It's not stuff that he's played on other people's music. Um, so he is a phenomenal musician. Um, I, I can, I can name a number of bands who talk about the influence that Skank and Pickle had on them and getting them to start their own bands, uh, going to concerts and seeing Skanking Pickle play, right? I just listened to Aaron Carnes talk about it on the, um, on the, uh, on the Upbeat podcast, um, how a Skanking Pickle show changed his life. Um, so just massive, massive influence on the ska scene through his own music. But that's not all, because he also uh, founded the label Asian Man Records. And Asian Man Records... It, it for a while was almost like sort of synonymous with Scott and still is in a lot of ways. There's uh, that's not all they produce. They don't just produce ska music, but um, a lot of the best ska music out there has come out on Asian man records. Uh, bands have gotten their start with Mike. And, and, and that's one of the things that's so amazing about Mike is that he would find these bands and, work, you know, slave and work tirelessly to help promote these other bands and get them to a, a higher, a more elevated status as bands. And he was all about lifting other people up. And that's a big part about what makes Mike so great, right? Like bands like Less Than Jake, MU330, Alkaline Trio, these bands got part of their start with Asian Man Records at the helm, push, pushing them forward. And, and, and that, that mentality of we're going to help other people has carried on. Like Less Than Jake is still... Uh, finding ska bands that don't have quite the same level of recognition and saying, hey, why don't y'all come out on tour with us? We want to help you get a little bit more uh, attention. Um, I have friends in ska bands that have benefited from Less Than Jake and Less Than Jake benefited from Mike. So it's, it's this sort of pay it forward mentality that Mike is you know, often the originator of. Um, beyond that, beyond being a, an amazing musician, beyond starting an amazing label and pushing amazing bands forward, Mike has been an amazing activist fighting especially against racism. In fact, one of the, one of the things that is required if you want to be on Asian Man Records is that you have to be, uh, and this is you know, his quote, Wikipedia has got his quote here, um, that, uh, that you have to be uh, anti-racist, anti-sexist, and anti-prejudice. Right. And that's something that he really stands for at all times and has uh, influenced the ska scene uh, to be a, a whole scene that fights against racism 
on a regular basis. Um, of course, Mike is well known for launching the first Ska Against Racism tour um, and releasing the first Ska Against Racism compilation, which in my previous video, I talked about how huge an influence that was on me in starting to understand that racism was an issue in my suburban neighborhood um, and uh, still is fighting strong and hard against racism today. Um, recently, with the massive upswing in anti-Asian and Pacific Islander racism, uh, he has uh, been a voice against that. He has uh, done a number of things to try and raise money to help end anti-Asian and Pacific Islander racism, um, and we are all better for that as well. Um, even him naming his band The Chinkies was meant to make people who were racist uh, in regards to Asians feel uncomfortable. Um, as he sort of reclaimed that word and, and, and had bands filled with amazing Asian and Asian American ska musicians that just, you know, showed how great they, the Asian community is. Um, he's also promoted some phenomenal uh, Asian ska bands that many of us might not have heard otherwise, um, just because we kind of live in our own bubble. Um, Mike works tirelessly, right? Not only does he run uh, Asian Man Records out of his garage and has for quite some time, um, but he's quick to, to get you your records. He prices his records at amazing rates. Uh, I just recently ordered Hey Smith from, from uh, Asian Man, and uh, I don't know where else you're going to get vinyl album for $14.95. It's crazy good price. Um, he is uh, just a, a, a beacon of generosity and kindness. And uh, we in the ska scene are so thankful for everything that Mike Park does. So if you're a fan, if you're, uh, you know, hoping one day there's a Mike Park Funko Pop or, an, or a Mike Park uh, action figure, if you're cheering for him, uh, leave some comments here and tell him how great you are. Uh, send him messages on his social media and tell him how great, did I say how great you are? Tell him how great he is. And, uh, and just let's show Mike uh, that no good deed uh, goes unrewarded. Uh, and so, Mike, thank you so much for all you do for the ska scene. We are deeply appreciative of you and all that you've done over the past few years. Keep on going, man.